Hi, I'm Dina Sanchez. Have you been thinking about moving to the Breckenridge, Colorado area? In today's video, I'm sure I'm not going to disappoint you. This is a beauty of a home. Very unique and really close to town, located up on Peak 7. Welcome everybody. Today we are at 207 Barton Ridge Drive on Peak 7 in Breckenridge. Totally excited to show you this home. It just got certificate of occupancy, just hit the market. Absolutely beautiful. I invite you to come in. So if you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell for notifications and you will be in the know of everything that's happening in our area. Now, if you stick around to the end, we're going to share with you a couple of little tips on the Peak 7 area and something that is very unique. If you like this video and you've got comments or questions, please either give me a call, send me a text, or just simply comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Well, welcome into the great room at this gorgeous home. I just love all the details. It has this, they call it mountain glam. I like the saying modern mountain with a farmhouse touch because of the shiplap that they have on the walls, the stone, just the light wood. One of the details that I love about this home is this beautiful fireplace, the way it goes all the way to the ceiling and has this beautiful stonework. And then this is really nice. It's tile, but I like the way that they framed out the fireplace. It's got some chevron tile on the inside, but this is just a really great statement piece, a design element that brings in the warmth into the modern feeling. So as we walk through the home, this property comes unfurnished and I'm sure all the staged uh, furnishings can be purchased if you like the way it's been decorated. So in this great room, you've got your living room, dining room, and then this very large kitchen, very spacious. And here's another one of the details that I love is this shiplap that goes all the way to the ceiling. And so it does have a little bit of this farmhouse, modern, glamorous feeling to it. Countertops are absolutely beautiful. The appliances are, we've got a 48 inch Wolf gas dual oven stove. And then we've got two dishwashers in here. Also, we've got a wine cooler. Two dishwashers do seem to be very popular in the larger homes that we are showing these days. And then a very nice touch with your Sub-Zero refrigerator having the cabinet look on the outside. Now this home is five bedrooms, seven baths. It is about just shy of 5,300 square feet and let's start with the primary bedroom. And let's just stop for a second and look out the windows on either side. This is in the new subdivision, the Barton Creek subdivision. And you've got down valley views, a really nice deck off the living room and dining room area with views of Keystone. This is a detail that I really like entering into the main primary bedroom. I like the double door feeling, so it's an extra wide opening. And then you come into the bedroom, again, with the shiplap going all the way to the ceiling and then the natural wood. Nice modern pendants hanging. And then, yeah, even the fan is a nice modern look to it. There's a nice fireplace, gas fireplace in the primary with the navy blue chevron tile. And again, the same tile. You do have a little patio off your primary, which is a nice detail. And it would be a great spot for morning coffee or tea. Primary bathroom, 
freestanding tub. We know those are really popular right now. So the antique gold tub filler, it's a nice uh, detail and accent. Somebody called it jewelry. So here is all the jewelry in the home. I kind of like that. That's maybe where the glam part comes into play. And then this is glamorous, this shower. It is a steam shower. Love the tile, but then the um, tile on the floor does have gold in it, which is really nice. And it's very spacious. You've got great pantry or linen closet, I should say. Just lots of room here. And then there is a large walk-in closet. All right, well, let's go take a look at the rest of the house. So on the main level, we have a, another junior suite, I should say. It's a very spacious bedroom. And look at the lighting fixtures, the pendants. They are just really dramatic. I like the way they staged the bed and the linens on here. Also, this has another little patio that you can go out and have a chair out there and just enjoy nature. You've got these beautiful woods in front of you. And Barton Creek does run uh, through this little valley or gully, I should say. And it's a three quarter bath, two sinks, and just very simple in design. Another walk-in closet. And throughout the home, the floors appear to be like a white French oak. You have a little powder room. I like these lights up here. Very nice touch. So again, you know, they definitely have a fair amount of modern elements in the home. And again, you've got some really nice tile on the floor, but then you've got the shiplap. Nice mudroom area here with your laundry center. And the garage is just right off of this area. And I do really like the way they did the doors with the framing, instead of having it all the open glass, just again, giving a little bit of that farmhouse feeling. You have a three car garage, oversized, plenty of room for all your toys and your skis and your bikes. You have a bunk room here that sleeps four people. I feel like in this space, it could be for playing games, but you know, I don't know, you could get creative and maybe have a little bit more bedding in here if you wanted, if you've got some extra kids that you wanna just have them, let them have their wing and um, their own space. And then this is really nice and comfy. Makes you just wanna hang out and read a book and look out the window at the beautiful view. This bathroom, I like the tile that they picked out. The hexagon with the splashes of indigo or denim. I, I like that, just very different. And then the really clean white subway tile. All right, well, let's head on downstairs to the lower level where we have the family room and some other bedrooms. I like all the pictures with all the vintage ski culture. Now this is a great space for entertaining. You've got a wet bar, a place where you can hang out. You could put a pool table here if you want, since this is staged. You can put a lower table, a card table, however you feel is the best for your needs. But really very spacious, probably mount a nice TV, a nice big TV up there for everybody to enjoy some movies. And then again, you've got a really nice lower level patio over here where you can put a hot tub, most likely. Let's take a look at one of the bedrooms. So again, all the bedrooms are en suites. Really spacious, 
Ceilings are really nice and tall in this lower level. Love the choice of tile for the floor. That's great. And then again, a very neutral background. Again, here's another ensuite, and you can see that the rooms are really, really spacious. And for being on a lower level, really bright. Oversized closets. And then you have a three quarter bath here, two sinks. So in this wet bar area, you've got a dishwasher. You have an ice maker, your garbage, and then a nice wine cooler beverage center. Very nice, beautiful cabinets. Here is another powder bath. Love the tile on the floor, great choice. And again, here's part of that farmhouse feeling that they're bringing in to the home. And then you have another laundry center down in the lower level. So making it convenient for everybody, whether you're on the main level or the lower level. And I almost forgot to show you the little office that's off the main entry and the living room. Simple, but a perfect place to just focus on work. You can close the door, you can look out the window, it's a beautiful view, and you can just be away from everybody. What do you think of this home? Let me know in the comments below. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the creativity and how it is just a little bit different from what we've been looking at lately. So our tip for the day is, on Airport Road, there are two establishments that you should check out. The Breck Distillery, and they make all their own whiskey, I believe vodka and gin, but they have a really nice restaurant. So if you're not into drinking, but you wanna grab a very unique food or enjoy a very unique restaurant setting, in the summertime, they actually have outdoor games, a great place for you to just hang out outside, but the inside is really nice too. And then the Broken Compass, the brewery is also over here off of Airport Road on Continental Drive, I believe. So those are two tips that you can go and check out if you're hungry and thirsty. And thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you would like a private showing of this home, please contact me. I would be happy to arrange that and share with you all the details that I know about this home. And if not this one, maybe another. Thank you to Eric Donovan of Breck Associates for allowing me to share with you his listing and show off this beauty of a house. And again, um, if you would like a private showing, I would be happy to tour this home with you and share all the details about this gorgeous home. Have a great day, everybody, and look forward to seeing you soon and helping you find your way home.